Hi, this is an update video. If you are following me, if you want to know why I am currently filming myself with my phone, what happened to all my gear, what happened to me during all these weeks, months, well, stay connected. photographer and I've been away from this YouTube channel for quite some time and I must admit I kind of enjoyed it not the first weeks because yeah I had to rest because of my herniated discs my back problems but after a month and a half it got better and I decided to take a little bit of time off for myself during the long period of time I had a lot of time to think about the future of my photography and of course the future of this YouTube channel I needed change, I needed a breath of fresh air, I needed something new and exciting, I needed new projects that would push me and force me to get out of bed early in the morning. And every time this happens to me, I make drastic changes in my life. Like back in 2016, when me and my wife decided to leave our lives behind, buy an RV and travel all across Europe. But no dramatic changes this time, I just decided to get rid of almost all my gear. This is why now I'm filming myself with this phone. And yeah, sorry for the audio quality and the video quality on this one. So yeah, I decided to sell almost all my gear, all my GoPros, all my cameras, almost all my lenses. Um, these are the two, the two lenses that I still own. The Canon 16 to 35 millimeter lens and the 24 to 70 right here. Because yeah, I still, I have to rent my gear now and Canon is still widely very popular in the rental world. So yeah, that's how I currently work. Whenever I need a camera, I just rent it. So yeah, the benefits of working like that is that you can work with the latest gear and you can get the right tool for the job. When I travel light, I rent the Canon EOS R. When I need something familiar that I can almost do it all, I take rent the 5D Mark IV. And when I need an action sports camera, like one of the events I covered recently, I just rent the 1DX Mark II. <laughs> the job I know that I can get the right tools for it I don't have to worry much about carrying all these expensive things with me when boarding on a train or on a plane so yeah that's kind of the upsides of it yes should I continue and work like this is it worth it or should I invest in the new RF system or completely change and switch brand I don't know but you know what, who cares? As long as I can find a solution to make my pictures, I'm happy. And whatever decision I take, I will share with you. So what about this channel? What's going to happen in the near future? Of course, I'll be starting posting videos again starting next week. So don't worry about that. Don't expect the video why I left Canon for Sony and never looked back and went back to Canon, but then switched to Fuji. None of this stuff on this channel. And of course, I won't make a video comparing an iPhone XX to a red camera or to a medium format camera. There are tons of video out there about this. So yeah, you won't find this here either. Concerning my projects, yes. the type of work I will be doing this I year, it will be much more about diversification, trying and discovering new genre, from simple to more complex setups, from personal to commercial oh. work, but more on Go. this real soon. So basically, you will find things that really matter to me on this channel. 
the creative process, my workflow, behind the scenes, how to get new ideas, how to develop them, and so on. But of course, I'm open to any suggestions, so please leave them in the comments below. So if that's okay for you, I guess I'll see you all next weekend. Thank you so much for your patience. And until next Sunday, please.